learn because of their positive attitudes, their kindness demonstrated towards others, their commitment to the charge we set before our student body at the start of each year to make best their standard. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to the teachers who will recognize students who they've nom nominated for their outstanding Good afternoon. We have here Darrell Horton. He is an excellent example of an outstanding patriot. He is hardworking, kind, always has a positive attitude, accompanied with a good knock-knock joke in the morning to start us off. He goes above and beyond without being prompted. Darrell has awesome work ethic and takes initiative to help others as needed. Harris Road Middle is lucky to have students like Darrell to help make our school, community, and world a better place. Keep up the great work. Congratulations. All right, Darrell. This is Trusty. I have known Trusty for uh, two years. Yes, taught her math one and math two. Um, in seventh grade and in eighth grade. And I know you can't tell, but she was very quiet and reserved. Uh, she doesn't say a whole lot in class. It's taken her a while to kind of warm up to me, but that's okay. Because um, in class, Shrusty is always mentally engaged. I can see the wheels turning. Um, and uh, when she speaks, it does it so great. <laughs> the class like stops and listens, like they stop. And if you knew our classmates, <laughs> that would be important um, because the one thing that when I think of Shrusty that comes to my mind um, is she is the most patient student ever. Uh, and if you knew her classmates, they're a little more spontaneous than her, you would understand that she has the patience and the tolerance of any student I've ever taught. So um, I know she's going to be a wonderful, wonderful math teacher with her excellent math skills and her patience. That's my hope for her anyway. She may have different dreams, but that's mine for her, is that hope one day you become a, a wonderful math teacher. Okay. Congratulations. And I have the honor also of um, doing Mr. Uh, Wells's presentation as well. He um, had to leave for uh, some issues at home, um, health issues. So uh, I would like to ask Braxton Michelle to come forward. Hi, Braxton. So this is from Mr. Wells. He says, it has truly been a pleasure and privilege in selecting Braxton for the Outstanding Patriot Award. I've known Braxton for two years as a student athlete. He's a very respectful young man and displays tremendous character by helping others in the classroom and on the athletic field. Having found this out recently that he is related to a very good friend, oh really, he's related to a very good friend of mine that I went to high school with in South Point, Ohio over 35 years ago. Small world. Okay. Uh, since meeting Braxton as a seventh grader last year, I have, impressed, I have been impressed with his work ethic, great attitude, and desire to excel in everything he does. Congratulations. Let's go B. <laughs> And he's just an overall good person. Reese is a student with whom everyone can get along. He is friendly with both his peers and teachers. He's the type of person who offers a smile and a greeting whenever he sees you. He's the type of person who follows up on his responsibilities. Being a good student matters to him. This is evident when he comes into class each day, ready to work, and when he follows up on missed work without needing a reminder. Reese, the qualities you have will serve you well, not only as you continue your school career, 
But beyond that, you are just the kind of person who makes people feel seen and appreciated. Good luck in all you do. All right. Joseph stood out to me from the very first day of school. He constantly has a positive attitude, expresses kindness wherever he goes, and turns into assignments that are above and beyond the expectations. He strives to be the best he could be and is a positive example to so many. Every day when he exits the classroom, he makes sure to wish me a good rest of my day with a big smile on his face. It is often all the little things he does by habit that make such a big impact on myself and others. As soon as I heard this award was being given out, I immediately thought of Joseph. He is so deserving in so many aspects. He truly is an outstanding patriot at our school. All right. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Tanya Pelfrey. I'm one of the social studies teachers on the Liberty team. And my nominee for outstanding patriot is Ms. Keith Um, As educators, we have many layers to our jobs. Um, content education, shaping character through expectations and accountability, and getting to know all of our students as individuals. Katie is a cut above the rest. She embodies all of the character traits that has brought us here today. She has a quiet strength of intelligence that I see through some of her assertions. Basically, she gets me. Um, I see that connection with her um, every day, which I can admit can be very confusing. <laughs> what I'm not sure of is if Katie knows that I see her. Um, Katie's confidence will continue to grow and it will empower her throughout her life. I see her impacting a future generation of female leaders. Um, she, teach, she will teach them grace under pressure, um, true kindness, and owning their empowerment out loud every day. Congratulations, Katie. I know your future plans. So I'm Miss Goodman, and I'm Katie's PLA teacher. So, Katie, I did not nominate Katie for the Outstanding Patriot Award because she is creative, although she is one of my most creative students, as evidenced by the incredible one pager she created for Fahrenheit 451. I did not nominate Katie because she has a strong work ethic, although she is one of my hardest working students, always concerned with being responsible and doing her best. I did not nominate, nominate Katie because she is able to communicate both in her writing and class discussions, although she exceeds expectations for those standards regularly. And I did not nominate her because she is helpful and encouraging to other classmates, though she does work to help others in class frequently. I did nominate Katie for the Outstanding Patriot Award because she is dedicated to learning in a way that is genuinely rooted in curiosity and wonder. I never get a sense that Katie is just checking a box or working for a grade, which are reasonable motivations for eighth graders. Um, instead, I see that Katie truly wants to expand her understanding of the world through reading, writing, speaking, and listening. She strives to deepen her understanding at every opportunity whether it involves harnessing her creativity or engaging with her classmates in a project or conversation. She is a joy to teach and an asset to our class because she wants to learn and her enthusiasm is contagious. So congratulations, Katie. All right. Good afternoon. 
afternoon. My name is Victoria Nino and I am Vicarious Science, Science Teacher. I'm very happy to be here this evening. I am very glad to present the Outstanding Teacher's Award to Vikram Agrawal. Vikram is a remarkable young man. He shows a positive attitude in all school contexts. I remember the day you got here and the first time I met you, I was highly impressed by your good manners. He aims high when it comes to his academic work and he's also willing to help his peers and is respectful and kind to all of them. Vikram shows a growth mindset when facing challenges and shows gratitude for things that other students take for granted. I am sure he will achieve great things in the path that lays ahead of him and will continue to make his parents and teachers very proud of him. Vikram, I wish you the best life has to offer. Congratulations. Come on up, Justice. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Brian Miller. I'm the great science teacher here. Um, it is absolutely my pleasure to introduce Justice uh, Johnson to you today. Justice is my nominee for the Outstanding Patriot Award because she is kind. She is genuine. She is respected by her teachers and her peers. <clears throat> she works hard and is always smiling. <clears throat> <Set it up. laughs> Not only is Justice a wonderful student, but she, is all, she also stands out on the softball field, on the volleyball court, and she tried her hand at basketball this year for the first time. If you can't tell, I absolutely adore her. I adore her family. Um, so proud of the person she is, the person she has become. Um, I'm honored to present justice to you all today because it is a recognition of the whole individual, her work ethic, her personality, her life <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you, Justice, for making the decision easy for me and for allowing me the opportunity to get to know you and your family throughout these days at Harris Road. <clears throat> Congratulations. Thank you. Students in her class. 
Columbia is one of the most mature and self-composed eighth graders I have had the opportunity to work with. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Thank you. 